Good evening everybody, welcome to Bear Beer Reviews. So now we have yet another, yes that's right, yet another Brewdog Beer. This one is a new one they've just released, this is called Bourbon Baby. Um, it is a barrel aged baby scotch ale, it comes in at 5.8%. It's a little bit lower than your normal scotch ales. And this one was one brewed for a little burger joint, which I'm going to try and find on the back of here. Which I can't. Da, 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 da. Anyway, this baby was born as a Scotch ale, but was raised in, but we raised it in the Kentucky way. An easygoing session ale at heart, it's developed some big bulb and barrel personality from its time in cask. So gather your friends, fire up the bluegrass, and get ready to explore the transatlantic complexity of a Scotch ale that think it's from the deep down south. Um, and it was brewed for somebody, but um, I can't find out who for, so it doesn't really matter. So let's crack it up and give it a try. Um, I quite like the idea of this beer. I do like the the big kind of malty, super sweet caramel toffee with a little bit of smoke in it flavours you get from Scotch Ales and the idea that it's been um, aged in a bourbon barrel to give it a bit of that vanilla oak uh, sort of flavour really does kind of sound interesting and at a lower ABV, I mean you could probably have a couple of these but 5.8 is still relatively strong really in terms of English beers at least um, so we'll do that one for now there you go, so it is a wonderful dark colour here I'm just going to have a look and see if I can get some light through it no, it's pretty much black, but I, I almost, almost brownie really. It's just not completely pitch black, and we've got a nice little, um, nice little uh, milk chocolate, shall we say, um, coloured head in it. A little bit khaki kind of colour, and again, this one love lace is lovely. Really looks quite pleasant in the glass. Really, it does look like a Scotch ale, maybe a little bit darker than a normal Scotch ale I'm used to seeing. So let's go for a nose. Mm -hmm. Definitely smells of whiskey, definitely smells of bourbon. And there's a little bit of kind of milky chocolate in the nose too actually. But there's a sweet tannic oat note and um, that kind of milk chocolatey flavour and a little bit of barbecue. A little bit of smoke in the in the palate, in the in the nose there. Um let me see, what does it say? Um um, 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 yeah, it's bourbon oak, isn't it? Blah, 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 Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it is bourbon oak, so they do age it in bourbon oak. So, cheers everyone, let's give this a try. Alright, first things first, I don't know the good tick box, it's got a nice carbonation, and it has quite, a, it has, um, I'd say it's on the light side of medium, but it's still definitely got a little bit of chunk to it, it's not watery. And it's sweet. It's got a lovely, it really is like a vanilla, a sweet vanilla flavour, just tempered by a little bit of milk, milk chocolate, still sweet on the chocolate side, and a little bit of coffee afterwards. It's not overtly bitter, it's super simple, easy to drink. I'm getting a bit of oak later on. I'm getting oak and um, just a little hint of, of the bourbon, the, the vanilla y bourbon flavour, just towards the back end of it. And overall, it has, a, I guess because it is so sweet, because it's not particularly dry, and because there isn't a huge amount of bitterness, it sips stupidly easily. I can see why they call it a baby Scotch Ale, and why it's meant to be more sessionable than a full-blown Mac Daddy of a Scotch Ale. The only thing I think it would, does lack is, it just lacks, the, maybe the body is too low, maybe medium light, bordering on light in itself, it's just a little bit, little bit too, too light, I want to say, I think it just could have done, even, because it's 5.8%, I don't think you're going to pick this up and drink it like it, it's a mas macro lager on a sunny summer's day, you might pick it up as kind of the alternative to it, but wanting a little bit more flavour, but without going all the way to 9-10% to get a full-blown scotch ale, and because the mouthfeel, I think, they should have tried to keep it as thick and as chunky and as juicy as possible, but with lower ABV, just to carry those flavours, to give it a little, a little extra punch. Um, having said that, it's still it's still a really nice beer, I think. I, it, everything seems to blend really well. Nothing's off. It all seems to have this idea, and it's what they say it is. It's got those nice 
dark and strong flavours from, from dark coloured malts, kind of typical Scotch ale flavours, um, a little bit of smoke just hinting at the back of the palate there, and then it's got this vanilla-y oaky sweetness across the entire top of it, and it ticks all the boxes for everything I'm looking for in a Scotch ale, and the fact that I can taste the bourbon flavour and taste the bourbon oak in it, it actually ticks in those boxes as well. The only thing that perhaps needs a little bit of work, I would think I just want it to have a little bit more of a chunk, a little bit more of a chunky mouthfeel, because as I said, 5.8% uh, isn't exactly sessionable strength, and it should still have a little bit more body, but I've had, had some beers in the 3.8 to 4.5 range that had a bit more body than this, and that's where it's the only place where it's lacking. So uh, in terms of ratings, I think I'll give this an, an 8 out of 10. I can see how this would be a really commercially successful beer. Uh, like I said, it's done for a burger joint, um, and this has just got on like a house on fire. I can really tell you it will. Uh, if you had a nice big chunky burger and you had this by the side of it, uh, you, you couldn't go wrong. You really couldn't go wrong. I do not know why you would want to go and choose um, something like a Stella, a pint of Stella over over this, or or even a Brooklyn Lager. I think this just melds, will just meld in with the richness of meat a little bit more, and it's been designed to do that. And I think they've ticked, I think they've really hit it off with it. I think that I think it, it will do really well um, for this place that I can't remember the name of that it's been designed for. Um, so yeah, well done, Brewdog. Another good beer, uh, not one of your absolute stonking best, but it's definitely a solid good beer, and I can see it going down like. Uh, going down really well with um, everyone I know to be honest so cheers everyone thank you for watching please like favorite comment and subscribe all your usual jazz and until the next bear review cheers